Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to do a short little flight and I am going to integrate the ForeFlight app into the Microsoft Flight Simulator system. So what I'm going to do is do a short little VFR flight from 6-9 November over to Allentown Bethlehem Eastern Airport, Kilo Alpha Bravo Echo. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to bring up our ForeFlight app. So I'm going to go and put in our flight plan at the top. I'm going to enter in our departure airport, 6, 9, November, enter in our arrival airport is Kilo Alpha Bravo Echo, enter. So our flight is shown on here on the app and currently it says our distance is 4745 nautical miles um that is because i have not started our uh, microsoft flight sim so i'm going to go ahead and start this up i'm going to put in 6 9 november we're departing from the ramp going over to lehigh valley international airport we are doing a VFR direct GPS and we are going to fly. So let's load this up. As you can see on the ForeFlight app, the 6 November now has a little blue dot on it that is flashing, indicating that that is our current location. And it says we are 10 miles to the airport. So we have got weather set up here. So let's go ahead and let's ready to fly. All right, on the ground, get me all set up here. Get our power set on. I'm just gonna do a quick little start up here. Mixtures rich. Oh. I keep always forgetting about this airplane. Fuel selector on. Okay. Or go on. All right. So I have got our set here. Brakes. Let's go ahead and move that out of the way. Brake is off. Sorry about the noise. Enter. 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 Okay. Just a little. But we're going to be following the GPS here on the Four Flat app. So let's go ahead. And let's get our radios tuned. So we are at 122.9 is the Unicom frequency. So we can click on the airport here. We can go and see our, our airport information. Unicom frequency is 122.8. All right, flip that back. 22.8. All right, we are ready to taxi. Everything here, flaps are up. We are on both. Okay, just say bye to that guy. Taking the runway. We're approaching one nine. Entered runway one nine. Two thousand two hundred feet remaining. All right, two thousand two hundred feet remaining from this point. Right. I 
let's just go ahead and pretend like we did all of our checks and everything. Like I said, this is just a short little flight and demonstrating the four flight app with the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Airspeed delay. Rotate. Climbing out. And you can see our little airplane is now showing up. And we can start our... Turn the ATIS on. Two two six point nine seven five. Destination ATIS is one two six point nine seven five. Runway 31. Runway 24. VFR aircraft, say direction of flight. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advice controller on initial contact, you have uniform. Okay, we got information here before. Just uh, no. Maybe we keep flying. Gotta put this uh, iPad in a better spot so I can fly this and get what I'm doing. But, okay, I see the airport out there. You can see the lights. Let's just go ahead and fly directly to the airport. We got our clearance. We got our clearance. Enter the airspace. Got our clearance. To land, we're gonna land runway three one. So if I go to there's the map there. We go to weather. Gives me the current weather for and the runways. Yes, I'm all over the place flying this. And runway 31 is the best wind runway. Runway the best winds. So that is means we are going to enter a left downwind. Runway 31. Alright, so the airport elevation is 394. So let's just level us off here at about 1500. do a specific procedure arrival approach entering the class of Charlie airspace there's a little notification there on the iPad go going down uh, we, oops back to our map we want Roy our nav GPS runway 31 you can see our position Approach flight and keep climbing. Let's 
Welcome back to the map. Map just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna just enter the left downwind here. Altitude. If we go back to our plate. You can see where we at in relationship on the approach. If we were to actually do an initial approach. And tower is 120.5. And if we were to do light assist, let's do him. Towards our downwind. Oops. Oh, and twenty point five is Oh, I guess he's not gonna let me change. All right. Notch flaps. Let's go back to our map here. There's the airport. First match of flaps in. Turn our base. Second notch flaps. Turn our final. Approaching runway three one. Short final runway three one. Final notch flaps. It's like we're on glide slope path here, getting a little low. A little power, okay. Yep. Oops. Bring back our power just a little bit because we're getting a little high on speed. Got the airport made. And. Power back to idle. Just hold it off. Just hold it off. Hold it off. And we are on the ground at Allentown. 
And then it switched us over to the map. Now it shows us where we are. Coming up on Bravo 4. We'll take Bravo 4. We are clear of the runway and we'll just stop here for a minute we are clear of the runway and welcome to Allentown so this is just a quick little demonstration how the uh, for flight app integrated into Microsoft Flight Simulator short little VFR flights um, this provides a Positions on the maps. Uh, very handy little app. Uh, the app is not cheap as a subscription rate. Um, so, um, but if you are a pilot and you do have the app, integrating it in is um, a really simple process. It was just downloading a um, file to allow to connect to the system and on the uh, actual iPad itself, just finding the uh, device you want to connect to. And uh, yeah, straightforward. That's, that's what I, uh, my thoughts and the first impression of it. So we're texting down Alpha here. So once again, thanks for joining us on this little flight. And if you like these videos, please like, subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you on our next flight. This is 1720 Kilo Out.